Hey guys, how's it going? Tuzzin Fat here with another little tutorial on how to increase Java heap size. Now, heap size for Java is basically how much memory you want to allocate to Java whenever you open something Java related, like Minecraft or anything else that basically runs Java. So, how to do this is you want to go to the Start menu and then go to Control Panel. If you have Windows 7, you can just type Control Panel in the search bar. So, once you get in Control Panel, you want to look for the Java icon. And once you find it, go ahead and double click that. Wait for that to open up here. Now it'll open this window, this Java control panel. It'll have five tabs up top here, and the one that you want to click is uh, Java here. Then this is the Java runtime environment settings. Go ahead and click this view button right here. And then you will most likely be prompted with these two uh, these two little boxes right here. And if you look closely in the product box right here, you want to disable the one that has the lowest number. So you can see this is 26 and 22. You want to disable 22 over here. So go ahead and disable that. And in our runtime perimeters, we want to type this. I will put that code in the description for you guys so you don't have to type that out. And what this uh, perimeter basically does is this number right in here, that's basically the RAM or in megabytes that you want to allocate to Java. So say if I have 512 megabytes of RAM, I want to allocate maybe 480 megabytes of RAM to Java, which will basically make my run or my Minecraft run a bit better. <laughs> Just make sure that you do not use all of your RAM, or otherwise that will um, that will severely lag your computer up and probably crash it. So you want to type. Uh, minus XMX 480M and again replace the 480 with how much RAM you want to allocate to Java so um, so the more you put in there the better it'll run so go ahead and click OK and then click this apply button if you don't click that apply button um, when you click view again all this stuff will disappear and then you have to do it again so when so the next time you run Java it will be uh, noticeably faster and Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and remember to follow me on Twitter, at TuzMcFat. I'll put that in the description as well. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I appreciate any followers. Um, subscribe for the latest tutorials, and I'll catch up with you guys later.